I asked Reverend Elizabeth not to put me first or second so I could stop crying because looking out here is just too much for me. I was watching the marches on, I was, how's that, can you hear me? I was watching the marches in New York City and San Francisco and Seattle and everywhere and feeling so proud of all those people who turned out. And now I'm here and I'm feeling even prouder because I've never seen so many people together and it's such a, a wonderful feeling that we're really going to stand up and make a difference. I'm proud to represent the Leyta County Human Rights Task Force. We work to oppose bigotry and harassment and to celebrate diversity and inclusion. We've been around ever since the Aryan nations were marching down the streets of Coeur d'Alene, and so we're ready to still fight. We've been doing it and we know how to do it, but we need everybody to pitch in. We're all marching for special things. I'm marching because I have a disabled grandson. I have people in the family with pre-existing conditions. I, I have children and grandchildren who are going to go to school and I am so worried about undermining the public schools with a new uh, proposed Secretary of Education. I hope she has not passed. And, uh, I was almost, almost willing to give the new president a chance, but the first thing he did, pro proposing Steve Bannon as his uh, chief of staff, somebody who has enabled white, ma white nationalists, anti-Semitism, we can't have this in the White House. No! Now, President Trump, in his inauguration speech, said he was giving power back to the people. Well, I'm sorry, we always had it. We didn't need to get it from him. But now that he's given it to us, folks, let's use it.